Hello everyone, my name is Kalix, or as a lot of you guys call me Kale. I have finally decided to do a YouTube channel. So I have been doing competitive gymnastics and since I was six up until like my junior year. And then I decided to switch over and I got a scholarship for acrobatics and tumbling here at the University of Oregon. And I just finished my senior season, so I'm finally a NARC. I'm just a normal student. I only have a few more weeks left and I will be graduated. I asked what you guys wanted to see from me on my Instagram and I've also asked multiple times on my TikTok if I should start a YouTube channel. So if you guys are coming from those platforms, hi, how are you doing? Uh, thanks for the support. Today I'm just gonna do my first YouTube video. So please let me know what you guys think and what you guys wanna see more of. Um, today I will just be doing a like vlog style i'll take you guys through my workout and um, i'll do a little q a from the answers that i got on my instagram so yeah i'm really excited um today we are doing glutes or no today we are doing hamstrings and calves so we got some front squats we got split squats we got lunges goblet squats leg extensions all the things um it is currently 6 43 in the morning um i was supposed to get up earlier and go to the gym but i had to do this and the intro took me probably 20 minutes <laughs> one of the questions i got today was what supplements i take now that i'm no longer a an athlete i can take things that aren't regulated by the NCAA. So my pre-workout of choice is Total War in the flavor Vice City. Oh, wow. <laughs> and um, creatine. Um, I use this brand because it was NCAA approved because it's just monohydrate creatine, so there's nothing else in there besides creatine. Um, but yeah, when I was in D1 athletics, I didn't take pre-workout just because there's so many rules and regulations and most of the pre-workouts you see in vitamin shops and GNC are not um, FDA regulated or NCA approved. So now I can take whatever I want, which is lit. Um, but yeah, now that I'm no longer a D1 athlete, it's you guys are just gonna be coming along for the ride of me having a identity crisis because that tends to happen with student athletes when they've been training their entire lives and then all of a sudden it's gone. But I've been thankful enough with COVID and whatnot to kind of get a taste of that last year because our season got cut short and we had a really, really long break and we weren't sure if sports were gonna come back. So I kind of had that mentality that I was like done. And I didn't freak out too much. I was in Hawaii for like the first half, so that's probably why. And then the second half of it, I was when I really started getting into working out and stuff because I didn't have sports. So that's probably gonna happen again. <laughs> but um, it's gonna be a process and you guys are just gonna come on for the ride. So. We're gonna dry scoop these bad boys right now. So dry scoop with me. I also have to videotape this for my boyfriend, Ben, as most of you guys know if you're from TikTok and if you've seen um, my lives or just any of the videos that I have with him. But every morning we send each other videos of us dry scooping. So I will be dry scooping to both of you. <laughs> hey Ben, far up creatine. Oh god, nothing I hate more than dry scooping creatine, it's disgusting. Next up, Total War, Miami, wait, Vice City, it's like pineapple and coconut, it tastes like uh, pina colada, but it's kind of spicy. I typically do one scoop on my drive over and then one scoop when I get there, or like half a scoop, or sometimes I just don't take it at all, just depending on my energy level. All right, pre-workout, cheers. All right, head to the gym, let's get after it. Why did I do that? That stupid transition.
So I just finished my workout. My legs are quaking. I'm about to do cardio. I do 45 minutes on the Stairmaster or 45 minutes walking on incline. Here's the fit. Let's walk you through it. All right, so for today's fit, we got a Carhartt and Hurley shirt. We got a Off Elite sports bra. These shorts were from Carmen 38, I think. And then Janoski's and Nike socks. And here is the full fit. All right, I am done with the gym, did the little quad workout, and then the 45 minutes of cardio, I did incline walking on the treadmill. Now I am going to the post office to mail some of my gym clothes. I posted on my Instagram some of my gym clothes that I don't wear anymore, and I'm selling them, so I'm mailing one box of a bunch of stuff, and then I'm going to the pharmacy to pick up some prescriptions, and then I'm gonna go home, shower, do all that stuff. I'm doing a little GTL, if you know what I mean. If you don't know where that's from, you need to go watch Jersey Shore immediately. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home after this, shower, eat, um, go to class. I have psych today and an art class from three to six. So I will be doing that and yeah. Peace out. <laughs> all right, I'm finally home. It is 11-11, make a wish. I normally, well, I try to do intermediate fasting and I try not to eat until like 12 and then stop eating around eight, but that doesn't always happen. Um, so. Can I get any online person to the service desk, please? Any online to the service desk, please? So we we'll start with coffee. I like my coffee black, so I just have this medium roast cold brew and then I put Splenda in it and that's it. All right, cheers. I also forgot, I'm going to get my nails done. This is what they look like now. And here's the final look. So fun, so Miami. So I'm gonna go home, it's 1.50, I forgot to eat. Um, this happens all the time. This is the main reason why I don't like doing what I eat in a day, because I don't wanna promote unhealthy eating habits, but I genu genuinely forget to eat all the time. But yeah, I'm not gonna BS y'all. I'm just gonna, you know, be straightforward like, this happens all the time. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to make it seem like I have this perfect life and that I eat this perfectly healthy diet and like all this stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna be straight up with y'all and you know, it happens. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go eat something. I'm gonna do some schoolwork. But yeah, catch you later. All right, here's my beautiful first meal of the day in all of her glory. We got egg whites and spinach and turkey sausage and peppers and tomatoes i don't know if i already said that i seasoned it with lemon pepper and cayenne pepper and topped it off with some cholula yes this is my first meal and it is like 2:30. um so yeah starting off strong this is a shit show per usual but this is my life <laughs> um i have class from three to six so I will be doing that. It's a digital imaging class. We still got a lot of day left to turn around. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. All right, so I just finished class and I FaceTimed uh, Ben for a little bit and cleaned up my room. It's currently 6.23. Hanging out with the kitten. This is Maui. He's a little shithead. Um, but yeah, let's jump into some questions. Um, I got a lot of responses. I was not expecting that many. I'm at like 60. Um, hi, Matt. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. What are you majoring in? I'm majoring in psychology with a minor in multimedia. What career are you pursuing and what's your major? Pers <sighs> career. That's a tough one. 
I'm not really sure. I want to do a lot of things. I'm like terrified of sticking to one job for like my whole life. So I don't really know. I really like doing graphic design and making like logos and like gifs and like stuff like that. So maybe doing something in that realm. I don't really want to do anything necessarily involving like psychology. I'd probably do something more like um, multimedia based type of stuff. What sport do you do? I did gymnastics from ages six all the way up until like my junior year of high school I believe and then I got recruited for acrobatics and tumbling so then senior year I did track I also did track junior year after I retired gymnastics as I retired like in the beginning of the season so I did track for two years and then I did acrobatics and tumbling for four um, what is your favorite thing about living in Oregon for college I wouldn't say it's a, like it's not like about Oregon, like the state itself, but I do really love the school and the atmosphere and like how spirited everyone is. Cause I went to like a really small Christian school for high school and oh, Bo's here. This is the other kitty. This is Bo. He's my favorite. He's really fat. We have another one named Lizzie. But yeah, I went to a really small Christian high school, so it was just like a big change of pace for me, and I really really enjoy it. I hate the rain, so I don't like Oregon 95% of the time. I do like spring term, is really fun. Do you have a job? If so, what? Also, dream career in the future. Um, I kind of have a job. I door dash here and there. Uh, I used to coach gymnastics. I coached gymnastics from when I was 14 all the way up until last year. Um, I coached back home at the gym that I grew up going to for since I was 14 up until I graduated. And then my junior year, I worked at a gym here in Oregon and then they shut down because of COVID. Um, dream career in the future, like I said, I am not sure. <laughs> I'd love to, you know, do social media as a career. That'd be awesome. Um, I would love to be a graphic designer or just like an artist kind of for like surf brands and whatnot and like be able to see my like artwork on like a t-shirt. I don't know, I think that'd be really cool for like a big brand. How big are you on nutrition? As you guys can see from today's vlog, not that big because I, I'm not, I, don't, I just, I don't do like macros, I don't count calories. I've tried doing that and counting ca calories kind of spiraled out of control. Um, macros, I just, I just like a lot, I feel like. Like, I feel like that's not necessary for what I'm going for. I feel like it's necessary for, like, bodybuilding and, like, competitions and things like that. But for what I'm going for, I feel like I do a pretty good job of eating the right foods to get what I want out of it. Ever had a terrible injury that set you back months of hard work? Um, not necessarily for, like working out purposes like I haven't had any recently but I did in gymnastics I hurt my back really bad like I don't even know I think level seven or something and I kind of had chronic back pain for a really long time and then I went to like a bunch of different doctors they couldn't really figure out what was wrong they all said different things and then one of them was like it's not gonna get better but it's not gonna get worse and um, it ended up getting worse and I remember like my second meet my junior year I was just in so much pain that I couldn't walk up, sh like walk straight, like walk up right. <laughs> so um, I took like six weeks off and then I broke my wrist and then I was out again for like six weeks or so. And at that point I was just so far behind that I just decided to like retire. And I was already starting to talk, like interested in acrobats and tumbling. So I just decided to pursue that. Um, yeah. But other than that, like in, college my main goal my freshman year was to survive four years without having to get surgery and i did it Success because a lot of girls you know get injured i've seen like acls i've seen achilles tears broken bones all the things so yeah i made it without any major injuries besides concussions i've had a lot of concussions what's after college um it's to be determined. <laughs> did you competitive cheer slash how did you get into acro? I got into acro from gymnastics and just started putting myself out there and emailing a bunch of coaches and starting the recruiting process. And also my 
gymnastics coach she when I like decided to do acro and just like focus on tumbling on hard floor there was one of my other teammates was doing it as well and we also had a few other girls that graduated and went to HPU in Oregon and um she was close friends with some of the coaches so I kind of just like got in that way where do you get all your cool ass shirts all over the place I love a good t-shirt I have so many I have like a whole collection maybe one day I'll do like a haul or something um but I get a lot of my shirts from the little boy section at like surf shops and stuff because they're cheaper and if you just get like the biggest size in the boys shirts then you can like cut them and make them a crop top yeah they're mostly from like surf shops like jacks um i get some from Dea's, which is this like surf coffee shop in la Uven. yeah just like surf brands like visla canvas by katen ruka quicksilver billabong all those all those places and then like band t-shirts um, you can kind of find those pretty much anywhere. How do you get so many veins? I'm jealous. Also, Illy. Illy too. Um, veins are, one, genetics, and two, low body fat percentage. So, I've actually gotten a lot of people asking me, like, what supplements I take for, like, veins and stuff, and I don't think there's really any. Um, it's mostly just those two things, body fat percentage and genetics i've always been very vascular how long have you been lifting um i started lifting once i signed to oregon because i knew that we did like weights training so i got like a personal trainer who's kind of like our family friend and he helps me out and then like sophomore or freshman and sophomore year i would just work out with like my team and do team lifts and then end of sophomore year going into my junior year like that summer i started lifting more seriously still wasn't like super consistent but a lot more consistent than i was before and then once covid hit um i went to hawaii for like a few months came back and then i really just like buckled down and like really got into it because when i went to hawaii i didn't have sports and i didn't have you know pretty much anything so it was kind of like that identity crisis that athletes go through when they stop like college athletics and being a student and so i just like picked that up because i was like i need to do something ever since then so it's been like a year i would say do i aspire to become a gymshark athlete and to be sponsored by them that would be lit either gymshark alphalete do you even women's best alphalete is my like go-to I just really, really love their Amplify line. Oh my god. I want everything. All of the shorts and the leggings from that collection. They're oh, so good. I love them so much. Um, but I don't really have too much Gymshark stuff. I just feel like every time I get Gymshark stuff, it's either a hit or a miss just on like my body type. So I still really like their stuff though. My height and my weight. I am five, eight and a quarter, five nine probably 5'9". I'm 155. Favorite lifting shoes? Vans. Favorite gym clothes? Alphalete. It's my favorite hobbies? Anything outside. Skateboarding. I love my penny board to death. Skateboarding, drawing, like either on like procreate, on paper, on literally anything. Anything involving like art. Anything that involves like the beach, water, hiking, lifting heavy shit and putting it back down flipping <laughs> music i play ukulele guitar cajon i used to be able to play piano but i haven't played in forever um drums i can do a little beat you know um, how many swimsuits do you have couldn't tell you it's far too many and i keep buying them for no reason any tips for people who are starting out with lifting do your research for sure like get the technique down um, learn all about what exercises do what and like strengthen what muscles or like what your goals are like really and then on like what you want your end result to be that way you can training specifically for what you want to look like basically because in the beginning I was just doing a bunch of stuff that was hard and it, I just wasn't seeing the results that I wanted to until I like actually like tried to like research stuff and like watch other people's YouTube videos or you like anything. Just do your research. That's what I would say. And also don't give up. It's it's hard work. Let me tell you. <laughs> Best advice for someone who wants to start acro and tumbling and gymnastics. So the thing with acrobatics and tumbling and gymnastics 
and cheer and pretty much like a lot of sports is that you have to start when you're really young in order to get to the college level of course um so as of if you're starting late it's kind of hard to say like you need you need to, to have started when you're a child <laughs> but if you want to do it just for fun like just go for it it's so fun um maybe like find a friend to like start going to a gym with um or just like start watching videos on like acros and stuff and you know attempt them in the grass or whatever would you be willing to make and sell custom workout plans that was for my boyfriend because <laughs> his next question was i'm gonna ask this in case no one else does because i think it's a great idea um yes i want to i just really don't know where to start i need to do my research i don't know how to make a website about like i just like don't get how it works like how do you make a website and like i i don't know i just need to do my research but yes that is the plan because i did just get my cbt and my like cpr training and i'm working on my nutrition one right now so that is a goal of mine but i just need to educate myself how did you get into lifting and how did you know you were a gym rat um i got into lifting for my roommate actually i used to be like the worst like i would she would be like oh like let's go to the rec and let's go like do a workout i'd be like no why like we go to practice that's enough for me like no and i'd also eat whatever i wanted because i was like well we burned off at practice like i can eat whatever i want but i ended up going with her and gradually i just became obsessed <laughs> And I knew I was a gym rat when I felt gross for not going to the gym. And, like, like I felt just, like, bad about myself. <laughs> Workout split. Um, I just posted it. I think it's... I just started because with acro and, like, weights, it was hard to make a split because we would do... We wouldn't do, like, specific leg day, arm day, stuff like that at our, like, team lifts. So I would just have to like look and be like, okay, well we're doing bench and squat and this. So like, I'll just do this, this, and this, this day. And like, it was like always all over the place. So just starting a split. And I don't know how I feel about it because I don't like training arms. I did a whole spiel about that. Like I've always had pretty lean vascular buff arms and I'm completely content with them right now. And I don't want them to get any bigger. And I'm happy with how strong I am. So for me to train arms on purpose without being forced to at practice is really hard for me because I just don't want to. But I know I have to do it to like maintain, so like that's what I'm working on right now. Um, so I'm doing glutes on Monday, push Tuesday, quads, calves Wednesday, pull Thursday, glutes Friday, uh, I think, core. I don't know. It's on my Instagram. Check it out. Uh, daily cardio. Uh, yeah, I do cardio. Oh, someone else asked if I do, um, if I run long distance. Um, no. I used to. I used to, when COVID hit and I got, came back here and the gyms were open. Because, like, my gym was open back home. So I went to Hawaii. Didn't have a gym or anything. I was just living my life. And then I went home and I had, like, a family friend's gym. I went home, I had a family friend's gym, and I would go there, like, every day. And when I got back here, everything was closed because Oregon, you know. Um, and I didn't do anything for a long time, and then it really messed with me. So I started doing outdoor workouts, and I was just, like, not into it. So then I started running. Uh, I would run, like, four-plus miles every single day at, like, 4 a.m. And it was lit for a while. I really enjoyed it. And then my body started uh, hurting a lot because we were in practice and weights, and I was running at 4 a.m. Um, but as of now, no, and even when I was at home, like, I would run sometimes, like, no longer than, like, three miles, but I would typically run a mile before I lifted, and then that was, like, about it for, like, cardio. Sometimes I would add at the end, like, some Stairmaster or whatnot, but right now, um, I just stopped running a mile before I lifted, because I did that for a while. I still like doing it, but I wanted to do more lower impact, longer cardio sessions, so now I do 45 minutes of either Stairmaster, cycling, or walking at an incline. And I really enjoy it. A lot of people ask me why, like how I don't get bored. And I think I already said this earlier, but uh, I just do like work or like I'll listen to my lecture. I'll do stuff for Instagram or TikTok or whatnot while I'm doing that. So I kind of get distracted.
best supplements for growing muscle leaning out creatine also i take orgain protein powder um i haven't really explored too much with protein powders but that that one's just at costco and it's like always at, on sale and it's um plant protein which i enjoy oh and collagen the vital proteins collagen it has like 20 grams of protein so it's great and it's good for your like hair skin nails joints all the things what keeps you motivated it's not necessarily motivation it's more so like discipline and i feel like having discipline is what motivates me it's like a, a loop you know like i am motivated by bettering myself by being disciplined if that makes sense <laughs> But yeah, it's not, I'm not motivated every single day. I can promise you that. Sometimes I get to the gym and I'm like, nope, not doing it. I can't. But if I just get there and if I just, I talked about this on one of my lives before. If you just go to the gym, you're not motivated, you don't want to be there. Just show up and just do like one thing. Just tell yourself, I'm just going to do one thing. I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to do curls. I promise you, after you do that one set, then you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, I'm already here. I can, you know, do another thing or another thing or another thing. And then you'll end your workout and you'll be like, okay, that wasn't too bad. It might not be the best workout of your life, but you still did it. So, and that's how you gain discipline. Then you go to high school. I went to Western Christian High School in Upland, California. Very, very small. There was like 400 people that went there. Do you program your own workouts? If so, how did you learn? I do. I learned from doing my research, looking at other people that I look up to, like social like social media influencers and stuff, and then also just like being in D1 athletics. Also through learning or doing my certified personal training thing through ISSA. So yeah, that's it for now. I have a lot of questions, but I will definitely be doing a lot more of these. Um, thanks for watching. Um, for the rest of the day, I'm probably not going to vlog anymore. I'm probably going to start editing this. And then um, my roommates are downstairs. We might have a glass of wine, watch the movie. Um, as far as dinner goes, I'm going to have some chicken and rice. You know, the deal. The whole fitness influencer meal. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if there's anything you guys specifically want to see from me. I'm open to doing anything. Um, but yeah. Bye, yeah.